Our next add-on is taxonomy. And taxonomy gives us a lot of flexibility on how we manage the data coming in. Uh, so the, probably the most common thing that you see in companies is data gets corrupted. Um, and not so much corrupted in the sense that it's wrong, it just might be something minor, right? Maybe instead of all the events being lowercase, they'll become title case. But all of a sudden now your data, it's effectively broken unless you have a way to fix it. So I'm happy to develop the, this taxonomy option here uh, we can do a lot of things around your events and around cleanup and preventing the events, right? So we're here first in the schema. We can see all the events that are coming in. Uh, same in our little Spotify type app, right? So we have an event. Uh, we see all the event properties. We can add descriptions to this event. Those become available within the reports, right? Uh, so we see a lot of different descriptions, event properties, things like that. Then we see user properties that we, that, you know, that, that we can that we can that we have here, right? Any maybe any validation errors that, that we've been seeing, uh, perhaps events are coming in slightly different than expected, uh, or maybe a user property is now slightly different than before. And, and then we can start to transform the data, right? So we have custom events uh, where we can combine different events under one single event. So we might have multiple, let's say, purchase events, and we want to see it all under one event. So we create just a custom event that looks at all of those events. Uh, we can transform data. So this is where perhaps you, let's say you have an event called view add, which we use quite a bit. And at one point you were doing a lowercase, at some point this changed to become title case, uh, who knows why. But now you can uh, transform uh, the new event, uh, the, the title case view add to be lowercase uh, before it gets uh, processed by amplitude, or I guess as it gets processed by amplitude. So to ensure that all your data inside amplitude is not affected by that. So even though the in the back end or in the, behind the scenes, the event is now uh, spelled differently from the data perspective, it's now being transformed into something else, right? So, so we have a lot of flexibility on terms of how to protect the data. Uh, so this is, this is really quite handy. Uh, instead of just saying, hey, you know, the data changed, the name is the events change, so now we're stuck, now we can transform it and do a lot with it and, and, and protect the, the integrity of the data over time.